Hello everyone, I've got a walkthrough on how to beat the Cradle of Death mission on Brutal Difficulty while playing like as Tychus. And I'm going to be playing with a subscriber in this walkthrough video named SoCali, or Jason SoCali that is. Sorry if I messed up the pronunciation or pronunciation of your name. And uh, yeah, we're going to be using the Bye 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 Muscle Strategy. <laughs> Gotta love that name, right? So just like in the last walkthrough where I introduced this strategy, we're going to be building a muscle armory first, and then in a moment here, we're going to be throwing down, well, we're going to throw down a refinery, but in a moment, we're going to be throwing down our expansion right away. And the main thing we want to do is really get that income going. We're going to get all of our upgrades for our outlaws first, including the ultimate upgrades. And then after that, if the mission is still going, we are going to start going for upgrades from the engineering bay. But I doubt we will be playing that long. I, maybe we will. I've, I've had Cradle of Death go until the 24 minute mark before. And I've also... <laughs> I like that spray. That's an awesome spray. I need to get that. But yeah, if we go to the 24 minute mark, maybe we'll have time to get those engineering bay upgrades. Okay, and we'll just keep on pumping out these SUVs. Okay, we'll go ahead and drop down our first command center. Or, well, our second command center, that is. And once this is done, we're going to lift this off, land it here. We just got to clear out that area first. And once Tychus is out, we can start clearing. And if you haven't watched the last walkthrough video, which was on Rift Decor Hall, I would suggest go watch that. But if not, I will explain what the plan is here. So essentially, this buy, buy, buy muscle strategy is uh, where you get all three of the muscle outlaws. So you get Blaze, Cannonball, and Rattlesnake, and then you get... Tychus, of course, and then we're going to also throw in Sirius, and then we're going to get all of their upgrades before anything else, including the ultimate upgrades. We're not even going to get medevac pads first, just the outlaw upgrades. Okay, let's go ahead and throw down our gunslinger hideout, or gunslinger's hideout, that is. Okay, we'll have Tychus just clear that out. Tychus is incredible. So much damage. Okay, we'll start pushing with this. Okay, I'm not going to pull too many enemies at the same time just because I don't have anything to heal Tychus right now. And let's go ahead and set up some hotkeys here. I'll throw both command centers in the same hotkey. Here, let's get these guys pumping out SCVs for us. Okay, and let's push forward. Okay, just got a micro Tychus just a little bit here. I want to bait these marauders away from, away from the artifact. Okay, there we go. Enemy forces are moving towards our base. And then, or constructs. These guys are called constructs. I take that back. Okay. And then we'll move the artifact truck right here. And we're just going to run Tychus away. That other, other, or, yes. The other construct just got destroyed, so we are good to go. There's going to be a nuke going off in just a moment here. Okay. And we'll keep the SCVs. Oh, enemy wave incoming. Okay, we'll go ahead and take out those Marines. Oh, got to love that shredder grenade. Super good. Okay, first hero we're going to get out, or outlaw. <laughs> Gotta stop saying hero. And I want these SVs doing work and not sitting around. Uh, first outlaw we're going to get is Rattlesnake. And I'm getting Rattlesnake because I want the heals. The heals from the Revitalizer. And then we're also going to get upgrades for Rattlesnake first, too. Okay, we'll just wait for this nuke to clear everything out. And we will move on in. Happy to say we only have three sectors left. Okay. So we already have a hotkey for the artifact truck, hotkey F4, but personally I prefer hotkey 2, and then I'll throw my outlaws into hotkey 3. Okay, I'm going to take these SCVs, set them up here, and we'll hotkey both command centers to this mineral line now. And then there's going to be a bonus objective up here in a moment, but let's go ahead and intercept this enemy wave. Okay, and then let's get that upgrade for uh, Rattlesnake's Revitalizer's Mobius Aggression Blend. Units in range of Rattlesnake's Revitalizer's gain 20% additional attack speed. I love that, especially for Tychus. Oh, we don't even need it. One Shredder Grenade will do the job. Okay, and then let's go ahead and get this bonus objective. I'm going to send our artifact truck over here. Okay, and I'm going to get this upgrade for Tychus next. Oh, oh, I'm walking right by right by all the enemies here. I must have not a moved. Okay, but yeah, we're going to get the Kelmorian Ripper Rounds. Tychus's attacks decrease armor of enemy units by 5 for 2 seconds. 
So we'll go ahead and get that one first. Uh, the Alex Defend your allies' truck, oh. will ya? The enemy's after your truck. Okay, let's go ahead and take these guys out. Enemy wave will be dropping in pretty quick here to try to take out this artifact truck. It heals itself. The artifact truck even heals itself. How great is that? Okay, so another revitalizer up here. Shredder grenade. Finish off the job. There we go. Oh, that widow mine though. Oh, artifact truck. Okay. Our allies are being attacked. Yeah, Rattlesnake, tank that damage for us. He's doing great. Expect an attack soon. Dang, Soul Cali's clearing everything out. What's going on? Bad news? <laughs> Look at him go. Incredible. He's gonna clear the whole mission for us. Alright, let's go ahead and throw down a shredder grenade. Oh, enemy wave incoming. That's okay. These guys got it. We got out our next hero. I get Sirius third. Sirius is my favorite outlaw. For sure. Gotta love those turrets. And then we're gonna get all the upgrades for Sirius next. Just right away. Yeah, we'll just queue him off. Okay, so the two upgrades I just got. One allows Sirius to shoot off an ability right here. SA-55 Thunderbolt Missile. It shoots uh, missiles that deal 100 damage to eight targets all at once. And then the other upgrade allows Sirius to induce fear into enemies. 30% chance of that. So yeah, very, very strong ability. I used to not think the fear ability was that great, but I have definitely changed my mind since then. And then the turrets, his turrets gain a 3% a chance of inducing that fear. See how they start running around? Yeah, when they're running around in fear, they can attack you. So yeah, it's, it's rather incredible. Okay, let's go ahead and get our artifact truck sent over here. The enemy's targeting your truck's coordinates. Keep an eye oh, out. enemy wave right here. Okay, let's drop a turret and a nice little shredder grenade for them. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, might lose an artifact truck here. Save the day, save the day. Oh, just in time. Nice, he got there just in time to save his truck. That was perfect. Okay, let's you throw this artifact truck down here, and we'll get the heck out of there. Now for the other truck. Okay, get we're going to get the next upgrade, D99 detonator. If Sirius dies, he blows up for 300 damage in an area. Okay, and let's go ahead and throw these SUVs onto the refineries. Boom. Perfect amount. I'm just going to make one extra one to build some extra stuff for us after we get all those upgrades. We're going to get our next outlaw out, though. Heck yeah, it's time for Cannonball. Let's do this. Okay, and then I'm going to get a couple more upgrades. Well, we're going to get one for Rattlesnake first. The Mojon Signal Modulator improves the healing rate of Rattlesnake's Revitalizers by 100%. So yeah, we want to get that one first. Okay, and let's start pushing over here. I'll get our artifact truck moving. And I take it back. I am going to get one medevac pad because every now and then in like, yeah, like right now, Exactly. <laughs> and just as I was uh, talking about it, enemy waves sneak in down here. So I'm going to get one. I'll just get all of my medevac pads and take it back. We're going to work that into the strategy for this specific mission, that is. Because if we don't, we're going to have these enemy waves constantly attacking our base and we won't be able to intercept them in time. Okay. Yeah, so we'll get a couple med bat medevac pads but we're gonna wait on the engineering bay upgrades first or, yeah we're gonna get the outlaw upgrades before we get those engineering bay upgrades okay and let's get some upgrades for tychus now kd9a implosion core so when he throws a shredder grenade they all all the units get sucked into the center if they survive that is none of those survive and then we are going to get the last one uh, vanadium shell which allows the shredder grenade to increase its damage by 50 very strong upgrade and that actually wasn't the last one the third to last one before you unlock the final goal, the final upgrade which is the ultimate upgrade which is sure shot network helmet increases tykes's weapon damage by 20 percent for each outlaw in the immediate vicinity but we're going to get Sirius's upgrade first before we even do that oh, 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 oh. okay we gotta throw down some of these revitalizers gotta get that healing going and we need to throw down some turrets for distraction we get the last upgrade for Sirius first so the last upgrade 
per series. This one, Emulgent Turret Frame, increases the damage and health of his turrets by 75%, which is incredible. Okay, and Artifact Truck, I need you down here right now. Okay, is it time for an Odin? Heck yeah, it is. Who doesn't want an Odin right now? That's the real question. Okay, let's throw down some more turrets. Let's get these yep, turrets down. And, oh, I didn't get the big red button upgrade. I'll have to get that one towards the end. We'll probably have time. Oh, and I lost one of our heroes. Let's go ahead and get him back. And we'll also queue out Blaze. Get Blaze on the queue. Okay, let's take down this next. Next big guy. Oh, serious? No! Oh, if that was poor micro on my part. Okay, let's go ahead and get serious out next. Okay, enemy wave coming. I think our teammates got that handled. Jason socali has got this for sure. Okay, we've got this. We're going to throw down another revitalizer, and I'm going to uh, get cannonball to stun these guys, and we'll throw a shredder grenade. Yeah, there. Easy. Easy peasy taking those guys out. Okay, armchair general. Gotta love that. Don't waste my time. Okay. Yep, let's go ahead and clear out that bonus objective. I'll get all these guys in a meta back and just hop down there. Okay, let's throw down a fertilizer, a couple turrets. Okay, and then we're gonna get that upgrade for Tychus, Sure Shot Network Helmet. And now we're gonna start getting some upgrades for four Cannonball. X71 Impact Boots increases the stun duration and radius of Cannonball's heavy impact. Then we'll get Critical Response System. Uh, becomes immune for five seconds after taking fatal damage. And what else does it do? Yeah, that's it. Can happen more than every 60 seconds. And then, red line power cells increases Cannonball's attack speed. That's the best one right there. <laughs> this, this ability is so phenomenal. Red line power cells increases Cannonball's attack speed by 3% with each attack up to a maximum of 60%. Increases his attack damage by 3 with each attack up to a maximum of 60. Crazy good, right? And then, Malice Ammunition provides 30% chance that Cannonball will deal 4 times more damage with his attacks. The wheels on the truck go round and round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Okay, let's go ahead and pick these guys up since I am a little, little behind on that. Okay, and oh, we don't have any trucks. What am I doing? He's got infested to clear this out. Okay, let's throw down a couple turrets for detection purposes. But yeah, we're not going to push in there until our artifact trucks are ready. Okay, and we'll get Blaze's high capacity containers, increase the radius of Blaze's oil spill. Uh, Hades oil, the oil spill deals 25, plus 25 per second versus light units. What? Oh, the effect is plus 25. So the effect is, okay, here we go. Okay, so downs his enemy units in oil, reducing attack movement speed by 75%, preventing them from cloaking when a unit under the effect of oil spill is hit by fire, it takes five 30 versus light damage per second. So apparently that upgrade increases that by 25, which is crazy. And then wild flame fuel additives. Basically after a unit dies from being in oil spill on fire, they all the surrounding well units get inflamed too. Crazy good. Oh, and I need to get my artifact truck up here. We're holding back a little bit. Okay, let's just go ahead and man drop straight into the action. Oh, there's no, what? Okay, that was a fail. Absolute fail there. Okay, our artifact truck is just about into the fight. We'll just go ahead and take out what we can for now. Down in the bottom corner. We've got a Stukov. A Stukov clearing everything for us. Okay, let's go ahead and throw down a couple more turrets. We've got to have that detection for sure. Throw down a revitalizers for the heals. And we're going to throw down an Odin. Might as well get everything going here. Okay. Let's go ahead and disable that artifact truck. Use the barrage ability. That company is not going to stand a chance. Okay. One truck down. Just got to get the other one finished. And there it is. 
Wow. That was Cradle of Death dominated. <laughs> should have a uh, should have been a walkthrough from so uh, Jason Sokali on how to use Stukov because he just uh, <laughs> showed the ropes. <laughs> that was impressive. There's endgame stats for anyone who wanted to see. Damage dealt to constructs, 14,000. He did 23K. Whoa. <laughs> Almost 10,000 more than me. Stukov is a beast. That was, that was rather good. Okay, that's all I got for you in this video, everyone. If you have any questions, I'll post them in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed what you watched. Uh, also, if you have any requests for other videos or maybe other walkthroughs, post those in the comment section. That's going to help uh, me and you at the same time. So I'll have uh, more video ideas that you want to see. And then if you have something you need help on, I might be able to help you with it. Also, subscribe for more videos. I've got a ton more Tychus walkthrough videos coming along with other co-op commanders and other StarCraft II videos. So yeah, make sure to subscribe, hop on board, and then I will see you all in the next one.